one secret I'd like to talk about for a moment. What is what is love? What does it mean to love someone? Right? Marriage, ahava, ahava rabba. What does it mean to love someone? What it means to love someone, it's very simple. If that person's happiness makes you happy, that's a marriage. That means you love someone. So a lot of people, they have a marriage and they're like, sacrifice. Well, if I take you shopping, then you got to go with me to the ball game. If I do this, then you have to do this. And I have to do this, and you have to do this. And they feel like, they feel like they're sacrificing something for the other person. Wrong. It's like, if you want to do this, and that's what makes you happy, guess what? It makes me happy also. And if I want to do something and it makes me happy, that should make you happy. That's a marriage. That's loving somebody. So it's not a deal and it's not a sacrifice. Marriage is, my wife wants to go shopping. I hate shopping, but I love my wife. So she's having a good time and she's coming, even though she didn't buy anything, we spent five hours together and I'm dead tired. But she said she had a great day, then I had a great day. And if I'm doing something that she doesn't even understand, watching sports, whatever I'm doing, whatever that she doesn't understand, or I'm going to learn and I'm learning a long time. But I come home and I'm like, wow, I learned the daf and, and we had such a good argument and we had questions. And she's like, wow, he's really happy. So we didn't, we didn't, you know, he took an extra hour to learn, but that's made him happy. That's what makes him happy. So that's my, my message, is that when a husband looks at his wife, and even though he's not enjoying what they're, what, where they're going or what, what they're doing, right? She doesn't enjoy going to her mother-in-law, but he loves to see his mother. So it's not a sacrifice that she went to see her mother-in-law. She's happy because look at my husband. He's, when he's with his mother, he's happy. So I'm happy. And if she wants to do something that he doesn't understand, that it's not a guy thing, but she's happy, that should make him happy. That's love. That's marriage. Hatzlacha. So today I'm here in Eretz Yisrael for the organization Yad Ezra V'Shul Um I didn't know much about them, but after today, they're absolutely amazing. They serve a million meals a year to, to children and poor people. Um, really, really have to help them and support them. They're, they're, uh, on, the, on their internet, you can reach them at Yad Ezra, Y-A-D-E-Z-R-A dot net. Um, to help them out. I'd like to tell you a story about tzedakah very fast. It's brought down in the Kabayasha. Um, the power of tzedakah is amazing. It's an amazing story. So it says it's in Perik Yud, if you want to look it up, in Kabayasha, it says there was a, uh, a man who had a, um, who had a, a daughter and um, she got married and the next morning the husband passed away. So she got married, a few years later she got married again and the husband passed away. And then, a few years later, she got married and the husband passed away. So she lost three husbands and we know the law is if you lose three husbands you can't get married again. But there was a cousin who wanted to marry her and um, he pushed his uncle to let her marry her. And um, so that night, the night of the wedding, the, um, there was a very, very poor man uh, who was actually the Malcham of us, the Satan, who came to the wedding. And um, this young chassan got up from his chair at the chasana, got up from his chair sitting by the chasana table and put this poor man in his chair and fed him, not knowing that it was the Malcham Abbas at the time. And um, they get married and he's in the room and uh, he's getting his stuff together and in walks this, this um, person, looked like a person, and he says, I'm the Malcham Abbas and uh, the din is that, that you, you're the fourth husband but uh, we're going to take your life. And he said, could you give me like a night to spend with my wife? And then he said, no. He said, could you give me an hour? And he said, no. He said, could you, can I go say goodbye to her? He said, you know what? This is the Satan, this is the Malcham of us. The Yetzirah said, because you treated me so well and you fed me and you put me in your chair, I'm, I'm going to let you say goodbye to her. So he goes into the room, all of the three husbands didn't get this chance, he goes into the room and he says that the Malcham Abbas is waiting for me in the other room and I gotta go. She says, no, you're not going. So what do you mean I'm not going? He says, I'm gonna go talk to him. So she goes to talk to the Malcham Abbas and she says, you tell Hashem that, that I married him and even you're not even go to the army the first year, I'm not allowing this to happen. And this chus that my husband gave all the tzedakah um, and he treated this malach with such, with such care. And it says the Satan went up to Shemayim and asked Hashem, and he came back with Simcha Gadol, that he was Mizvater, 
and that this husband, the fourth husband, can stay alive, and they, this, the Kav Yesha said they lived happily and ever after. We see from here that even the Satan and the Yitzhahara and the Malcham Mavas was taken aback that this person treated him as dressed as a poor person and put him in his chair and gave him to eat, and, and that's what saved his life. So you think you're doing these poor people and this organization a favor by giving them charity. You're not. You're doing yourself the biggest favor. So help support them. Thank you.